When you hear someone say they get migraines, you probably think of headaches, really bad headaches. But in fact, the symptoms associated with migraine disorders are widely varied. What can some of those symptoms feel like? It felt, it felt like my skull couldn't accommodate the balloon that someone was blowing up inside of my head. Instead of just the sensitivity to light, I was now getting sensitivity to sound and to feeling. What it feels like in my ears is pain and pressure that radiates to my eye and down to the joint below my ear and into my jaw. I had problems driving on the highway where I felt like I couldn't um, keep track of the road, like it seemed like the road was kind of going away from me. There is a family history of migraines in the family, mainly the women. And the one time that I had a migraine so severely, they did not know if it was a migraine or a stroke. Very scary situation. The spinning sensation occurred whenever I moved my head, um, even slight movement like this or this. It, there's a squishiness in my ear that never leaves. And I also notice that I smell things that other people don't smell and I taste things that are, have an odd taste to them that are um, not recognized by others. I would pull into my driveway, get out of the car, and I would have a feeling that I was still moving or I would even look at the car and think maybe my car was rolling. Did recently find out that aphasia could be an aspect of uh, uh, this atypical migraine symptom. And uh, my husband and I almost have a joke about it. I'll be speaking and I'll just raise my eyebrows and point to him and he will say the word that I can't find. Almost every time I went to the doctors and I was given antibiotic, I was also given a slip to go and have a, a CAT scan. I am still left with the same problems, the same ear pain, the same pressure, the same vestibular disturbance. The antibiotics did nothing. I believe I've seen three or four different ear, nose, and throat doctors who had sent me for x-rays, um, MRIs, CAT scans, I'm, I'm not sure what all tests, but they've all come back negative. By chance, he said, you know, have you tried magnesium? First, I was so surprised that he was taking me seriously that I just started to laugh. I've been on the Topamax now for six months and I've had no sinus um, symptoms whatsoever. And I can't tell, I can't tell you how much that has changed my life. So it got to the point where um, I can wear socks. I don't have to think twice of which is the worst bra, which is the best bra. I can actually get dressed. Um, the sensitivity is, I would say, 95% gone. One of the things I'm learning about auditory processing disorder with migraines and other symptoms is also the fact that depression is linked with some of the um, symptoms. And to know that my symptoms both collaborate together and they're really one symptom is giving hope that maybe the ear pain will go away, the ear ringing will go away, the pressure in my sinuses will go away, the headache pain will go away, and I'll get a boost. <laughs>